Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Bad Batch video. I really hope you guys enjoyed episode 4 which dropped yesterday and let me just say from here on out it's all spoilers. Also guys let me know your thoughts on today's intro, I think I'm going to use alternating intros from now on where this new one is going to be used for theories and speculation whereas the regular one which you're used to is going to be used for news updates. But anyway I digress so without any more jibber jabber let's dive straight into it. In the Bad Batch episode 4 we finally saw Fennec Shand on Pantora. It was very clear that she had been hired as an assassin to kidnap Omega. Now an assumption that we can make with 99% certainty is that it was the Kaminoans who hired her in the first place. While she was unsuccessful on this occasion at the end of the episode she transmits a message saying the target got away but I'll find her. Is it possible that this message wasn't for the Kaminoans, but rather other assassins or bounty hunters who were also hired to capture Omega? In this way, Fennec Shand might be in touch with teenage Boba Fett, and I've spoken many times on my channel about the possibility of Boba showing up. It really seems like they're teasing an upcoming appearance. I want to use this video as an opportunity to explore how Boba Fett might show up and answer the question as to whether Fennec Shand is in contact with him. Essentially, have the two of them met yet? And a final question that we're going to explore is how old is Fennec Shand at this point in the timeline? First of all guys, we have to start from the beginning of what we know. Let's look at the intel that Fennec was given. Fennec Shand was on lookout for Omega and her main lead was the Havoc Marauder, or if you prefer, the Omicron class attack shuttle. It was the Celestin manager that we saw on Pantora who gave her the intel in the first place. And as you saw in the episode, the chase occurred and Clone Force 99 got away successfully. Now this sets up a very interesting potential plot point going forward. I believe that Fennec will continue to pursue the Bad Batch for Omega, but she won't be doing so alone. It seems more than likely that the Kaminoans hired multiple assassins and bounty hunters in various locations in the galaxy to hunt down the clone girl. The main reason they do this is because of how desperate they are to catch her to get their prototype to create a new army of superior enhanced clones. The cloning business of the Kaminoans and their future depend on it. No matter what, they need to capture Omega. Something we can deduce from yesterday's episode is Fennec probably has a reputation in the underworld for being one of the best young up and coming assassins in the galaxy. Be that as it may, there are others who work in a similar trade who've also built a name for themselves. This is where Boba and other bounty hunters come into the picture. We must ask the question, where is Boba Fett at this point in the timeline? The best guess is that the current events of the Bad Batch take place in 19 BBY, just days after the Great Jedi Purge of Order 66. This is the year where canonically young Boba's career is starting to really pick up. While he's still a teenager at this point, one year ago prior to the events of the Bad Batch, he left prison and created Crate's Claw, the Tatooine-based syndicate of bounty hunters. One year on from the Clone Wars episode titled Bounty, Boba's new syndicate would be in the full swing of things as he establishes himself as a prodigy bounty hunter just like his father. Now while the Clone Wars never conclusively finished the story of Boba's youth, the novel Dark Disciple tells us a lot about what Boba is up to right now. Boba continued to run a successful syndicate of bounty hunters based on both Coruscant and Tatooine. He could be on either planet during the events of this show. Some of the things that Boba was preoccupied with was Asajj Ventress, Quinlan Vos and hunting down a fugitive on Pantora, the planet that we were just on. Despite his young age, Boba was autonomous and taking on jobs that were daring and also bringing glory to his father's legacy. It really wouldn't be completely out of the question that he'd be contacted by the Kaminoans to hunt down the young clone and the price for bringing her in alive would be sizable. After all, she'd be no good to him dead. But he's no good to me dead. Now back to Fennec Shand, there are two possibilities. Either she's already met Boba and they're teaming up, or they'll end up on the same location looking for Omega and deciding to team up and split the prize. This could be very similar to Mando in season 1 with IG-11. Now I'm not the first to point out the similarities between the two shows, but as George Lucas would say, it's like poetry, it rhymes. So now my friends, we're going to address the elephant in the room. How old is Fennec Shand? The mystery seems to be that she doesn't look much younger than she is in The Mandalorian and yet Mando takes place nearly 30 years later. The answer to the question is an educated guess, but actually much simpler than people think. It's just a question of Ming-Na Wen looking really good for her age. She's 57 years old in real life, so if we assume that Fennec is the same age as the actress, she would be 27 in the events of The Bad Batch, when Boba is just 15. That makes Boba 45 in The Mandalorian and Walter Moore Morrison turns 61 
won this Boxing Day, he looks great for his age. Either way, Fennec Shand is approximately 10 to 12 years older than Boba Fett. The reality is, I truly believe Lucasfilm are teasing a big encounter between Fennec and Boba, and Dave Filoni is almost certainly going to use the Bad Batch as an opportunity to provide a prequel to how the two characters know each other. And furthermore, it will set up the Book of Boba Fett really nicely. Whichever way the show goes, I think it's likely that Fennec Shand had run-ins with Crate's Claw, and some of these encounters will be relevant to the Book of Boba in December. So for the sake of being thorough, I thought it would be worthwhile to take a look at an article which has a very different perspective to my own. This one claims that Fennec Shand might be working for a younger Boba. They start the article with the question, who is Fennec Shand working for in the Bad Batch? Now, as I stated, I think it's obvious it's going to be the Kaminoans, but let's hear this article out. They state, even if we assume Fennec is in her 20s in the Bad Batch, it doesn't prevent her from being employed from a younger person like Boba Fett. In fact, when you consider that Darth Maul's various crime syndicates were ordered to go into hiding in the Clone Wars finale, it seems more likely than not that Fett's organisation could have got a lot more dominance at this point, simply because there is much less competition. So if Fennec Shan's employer in the Bad Batch is ever revealed, betting on Boba Fett or his crime syndicate, the Crate's Claw, isn't out of the question. As I say guys, I'm leaning more towards the fact that the Kaminoans hide both of them. Something which really needs to be spoken about is, what is Omega the clone of? While it may be obvious to some that she's a Jango Fett clone, some people think that due to her blonde hair, she could be a clone of the now Legends character Arla Fett, who was the wife of Jango. What's really interesting is that if Boba has a run-in with Omega, technically Omega is Boba Fett's sister. But if for whatever reason Omega is the clone of someone else, then the reasons why Fennec Shan is tracking her down could be more mysterious. But what do you guys think? Do you think we're going to see Boba Fett in the Bad Batch? And do you think Fennec Shan is already in contact with him? Could this be the perfect prequel to the Book of Boba Fett and the Mandalorian? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also guys, just before I go, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, also be sure to hit the notification bell so you're alerted every time I post new videos. And remember that I'm having 20% off the entire merch store, look for the pinned comment down below. When you use code SWM20 until the end of May, you get 20% off all t-shirts, all hoodies, and in the next couple of days we even have a new Darth Meg t-shirt. And that's basically me turned to the dark side. I'm Star Wars Meg wishing you all a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.